Alright YouTube, this is CompuWiz47, aka Zorcher from Doom Connector, and we're going to go ahead and continue our installation by installing Windows 3.1. In the previous episode, we just got finished installing MS-DOS 7.10, so before you continue, remove your disk from your drive and say yes to reboot. And again, this is the first time I've ever seen this operating system. So it should be pretty straightforward, but we'll go ahead and allow it to finish booting here. Now I'm going to be installing Windows 3.1 using the original floppy disks. I don't know if there is a CD-ROM version available, but we're just going to use the diskettes, and that's why you need the floppy disk drive. Now, um, I've never used this before, but um, let's see if I can... It says F10 to quit, so I'm going to go ahead and quit um, the connector and it reboot my machine. Yeah, maybe I should have researched this a little bit more, but anyway, let's... Let's get back to the beginning as quickly as possible. Now I noticed that it had a nifty little graphic as it was booting up, which is pretty interesting. Let's see. Okay. Actually, I think I can go ahead and ignore that. So, let's see. DIR, so it's accepting the normal um, commands. So it seems like it's adding a graphical interface to all the files that are currently on my system, as well as the interface for typing on the keyboard. So let's just go ahead and... Okay, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the config.sys and autoexec.bat files. So the config.sys loads your drivers and autoexec.bat loads all your software applications at startup. So the program you use to edit these files is called edit. So I type edit space and the file I want to edit. Okay. And it looks like we have a lot of commands in here that I've never seen before. Well, I'm going to go ahead and have to look at this later, but for now, we're going to go ahead and install Windows 3.1. So I'm going to insert disk 1 of Windows 3.1 into the machine, uh, switch to the A drive, which is A colon, hit enter. Now that switches to the setup disk, and now I type setup. So just give it a second to load up, and here it is. Uh, the setup program for Windows 3.1 prepares Windows to run on your computer. We'd like to set up Windows now, so pressing enter. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the custom setup, since I'm an experienced user. Yes, I want to install in the Windows directory. Okay, and now it will tell you all the hardware it detected on your computer. Now, it should automatically detect everything for you, so you can just go ahead and hit enter. And we'll be installing drivers uh, specific to video and sound later on in the tutorial. But for now, let's go ahead and install Windows 3.1. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to copy files to the hard drive from disks 1 to 2. So we're going to get this interface, the DOS interface, while it's loading from disks 1 and 2, and then when we get to disks 3 through 6 is when it's going to revert to the graphical interface, and we'll get to see Windows for the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and allow it to install its files, and I'll see you in a little bit.
whenever it prompts you to insert the next disc, go ahead and do so. So I'm putting in disc 2 now and continuing. So the installation is going pretty fast for now, but once we get into the graphical interface, uh, it may take a few minutes, so I will probably switch to playing some music or something to make this tutorial at least a little bit more entertaining. So it looks like it's almost done. Okay, so now it just finished with Discs 1 and 2, and as you can see, this is the Windows interface for the first time. So, now I'm going to go ahead and it's going to ask for your name and company. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Zorcher. And my company is Doom Connector. Hooray for free advertising. Continue. Yes, the information I typed is correct. Okay, so I am not going to set up printers, though I do have an old printer that could work in Windows 3.1. However, I'll have to pull it out and see if it still works. I, it hasn't been plugged in for eight years, so I really don't know if it still works. And set up applications already on hard disks. Now, I hope it works with DOS 7.1. Uh, according to the tutorial, it should. Uh, however, we shall see how many components it can detect. So I'm going to go ahead and let it install everything. Go ahead and hit continue. Now it's going to ask you for virtual memory. Now this just means uh, whenever your computer runs out of physical memory, Windows will switch to the swap drive or virtual memory, which is memory that's emulated on your hard disk. So it'll use your hard disk as memory. It's okay, but if it ends up using virtual memory, it will slow down your machine. So go ahead and hit continue. It needs the next disk. And we'll go ahead and continue with installation. Now this is going to take a few minutes. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so installation went ahead and finished. I'll go ahead and leave disk 6 in there for now. Um, now, I am going to review all changes made. For the default user, I would select Make All Modifications for You. Um, let's see. Okay, so it added windows to the path, and that's about it. So that will work just fine. Okay, and it will go ahead and back up this file for you, which is great. And then it just showed all the Windows applications there for a split second. Now, as you can see, it has all the drives that I currently have installed. I'm sure two of them are CD-ROM drives down here, and then this is the main drive, the Windows 98 drive, and then the storage drive I have. So I'm just going to let it search just my main boot disk. MS-DOS editor is correct. I'll go ahead and just add everything from DOS. And now, if you'd like, you can see a short tutorial on how to use Windows, but I'll go ahead and skip that tutorial for now. Now, Windows installation is now complete. So, in the next episode, we will be 
installing the drivers such as sound and video now this is the part of the tutorial that can get a little bit more advanced if you don't know what you're doing you you can if you mess up at the stage chances are you may have to start from the beginning you're gonna have to format your drives and reinstall everything from the beginning because ironing out these issues can definitely be tough so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it for now so this is CompuWiz47 from YouTube and Zorcher from Doom Connector saying see you next episode and leave me your comments